It is 12.07. Welcome to Central Valley Talk Live on this Thursday, the 2nd of December. I'm Austin Reed coming to you from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Briggs Building. Another beautiful and warm day, especially for December here in Fresno. Highs will be right around 68 today. All right, my next guest here in the noon hour is Arthur. Arthur Fields with Illuminate scholars.com and you do a number of other things as well how you doing brother i'm Welcome. doing good how are you today doing good hanging in there holidays are coming up that's crazy we got a lot of kids no. just two <laughs> well that's a lot no. yeah i know <laughs> especially in this economy yes no. it is i know i know yeah. um but yeah no it, it's uh yeah holidays are here so um tell us a little bit about uh now before you talk about the IlluminateScholars.com, um, you also worked at the uh, African uh, American Museum. Is that right? Yeah, the African American History Museum History. in um, downtown, our the Mural District. Um, I was the executive director there for uh, a little while. I got a chance to work with some cool people and um, present um, one of my ideas to the public. Um, I made a podcast that discusses the Harlem Renaissance, which is one of the um, premier, which I think is one of the premier um, events in African American history in the United States as to where like, for instance, jazz, um, a lot of more like jazz pretty much is where jazz was invented, like um, ragtime. And like, it kind of fits in with the roaring 20s and like a lot of things. So if you ever, if if you want to check out the podcast, you can go over to the AA African American History and Cultural Museums um, webpage, and I think it's free now. It's a free exhibit online, and it's kind of like COVID friendly, so you can right. watch. Yeah, watch it at home. And oh, I think we're looking at it right now. Uh, at least that's maybe some footage about it. Is that is, is that right? I don't know um, if you can see the screen there, but. I believe so. That is, um, I don't know. There's a way that you can access the, the content on the page. Okay. okay. I'm not for sure if um, it's a virtual tour, right? It, well, it's not really a virtual tour. It's okay. more like a discussion. It's more like a, I would call it a a lecture, on Harlem Renaissance. It, with is it just shows. audio or oh, there's no, it's slideshows. slideshows okay, and, cool. Yeah, there's okay. slide, it's, it's a PowerPoint. PowerPoint okay. presentation. Oh, awesome! All right. uh, that's been converted into a podcast. It, it's it's very informative. So if you've never heard of like um, like for instance um, Booker T. Washington, or uh, well, he's pretty known, but um, Ida B. Wells, she like launched a, a a conflict. She had a conflict with the KKK. With um, she did uh, some anti lynching, um, like. Oh, well, there's people still consider lynching going on today, but with, well, it depends on how you see uh, police brutality. But um, one of the things is, is that um, Ida B. Wells was like, she saw this family get um, lynched that owned this, uh, this, um, this supermarket. Okay. And like, it hit her so hard that she like, she's, she went on, she went on a rampage and she, she went, it, she made it her life's duty to stop lynching of African Americans in this country. And so, um, you get to see like some of her information and other people like the intellectuals, mm -hmm. some of the artists, like, um, I want to say savage. I mean, there's so many, like, I can't like, there's so many people that I can't like really name them. Right. But, um, well, no, no, yeah, there's so many. Um, I, for our viewers that don't know exactly what the Harlem Renaissance is, can you give us just a okay quick, brief okay brief, yeah description? Okay, like after World War One, what happened after World War One is that um, a lot of African Americans left the South and started moving up into like um, urban corridors, like say New York, Chicago. Mm -hmm. But the major place that people tended to go was Harlem, and like Harlem had like like this. There's something special about New York. I mean, I lived in Harlem, by the way. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. so you might have went to like if you went to any of the bars or anything out mm -hmm. there, you probably mm -hmm. went to a place that had um, like the Cotton Club. The Cotton Club, like if anybody heard. Of... Anyway, there's this period of time about ten years mm -hmm. after World War One and before the Great Depression, where um, this is the first point in time where after slavery that um, the 
everything from like okay say reconstruction and stuff like that so this is finally like when black folks finally got a college education um vocational trade schools all these things and started to produce inside the country and like the major things is music art and entertainment and like these are some of the things that um flourish at this point in time is like the major thing like um like the jitterbug if you heard of the charleston mm -hmm. these dances and stuff like that but like then there's like uh, people like alan Leroy um, Locke, who was a philosopher, and he defined this person as like the new Negro, as says we're we're no longer as 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 an African American. It's like we're no longer taking um, any jazz from nobody. We're we're showing you that we under we're we're not slaves. We're 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 human, yep. and we understand how to make um, music. Like mm -hmm. for instance, like jazz. Jazz is like the only American thing that's American. Like, like, and it's made by African Americans, and um, everybody. I don't know if you don't, if you like jazz or not like jazz, but that is like one of the coolest things about America is jazz, and um, it's made during the Harlem Renaissance or the precursor. I mean, that's what I consider it. Yeah. But um, it's just an interesting time, and then you have like a lot of painters, and then there's this one cool historian that I like named Carter G. Woodson. Mm -hmm. And he kind of starts this concept of uh, African, like African American History Month, but he started with African American History Week because one of the things is is um, a lot of African American history is deleted from history books. Right. That's why we have the big debate right now between um, they're coming out with CRT, uh, mm -hmm. critical race theory, mm -hmm. or um, 1619 project in New York. Well, I have a different take on it, and. And, but I still, there is a loss of American, African-American history in the country. Mm -hmm. And, but it's not, I mean, if you, if you have the time to look in a book and go find it, and that's what like people like me are for, <laughs> pay me, I'll go find You're the information. You're the researcher. <laughs> yeah, pay me, I'll find the information you want. I mean, but, um, I mean, it's just a cool like history to like to see the Harlem Renaissance and it's right. like, cause most of the time people see like slavery and it's like, Dude, there's so much more history for African. With, yes, exactly. Yeah. You're darn right. I know, I know. Yeah, it's like the, we don't have to only talk about yeah. slavery. There, there's like, that's, I mean, that's there's a, a whole great, period. That's a great, great point. Great point. There's a whole period before slavery mm -hmm. started, and there's a whole period after slavery right. started. And anyway, I talk about Harlem Renaissance because that's the first period of time after slavery. Yeah when um, African Americans were not given anything, right. nothing. Right. I mean, people are given handouts and like, I don't know, I mean, I've heard stories of how immigrants come to this country and are given like checks and stuff. I don't know, I don't know about any of that, but I know after slavery, um, there were supposed to be some sort of reparations mm -hmm. never given mm -hmm. and then made to produce. Right. So it's like, like, I don't know, it's like, say you're, you're thrown out of your parents' house, like, but like your parents never gave you an education, kept you locked in, locked in a basement. All or your any life. money. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah nothing. And then you hit 18 and it's like, See ya. yeah, go get a job. Right, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have no but, education. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But, but you know, um, the African Americans uh, in, in the Harlem area, uh, tri state area, they, they were able to find and create something that you you just you can't you can't compare. Music is 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 life, you know. It's a reflection so, of yeah yeah. It's it's just one of it's just one of the reflections. I mean, it's more than it's art literature. It's a whole nine yards. But mm -hmm. one of the things you can like, for instance, there's this cat named King Oliver, or um, Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. Louis Armstrong was um, Louis Armstrong was a a stand like was a part of this guy named King Oliver band and he kind of created ragtime but it's to me is jazz but I don't know like I said it depends I'm not a music um aficionado so, <laughs> so I'm like jazz I mean they might be like wait hold like like because I, I like getting kind of I, I talk to my friends all the time like I like I'm like the story and it's like yeah. so we'll go to the Harlem Renaissance but then, then my friends will be like well have you heard this person <laughs> yeah. This song, uh, by the, and like, like for instance, I have DJ friends that uh, like play cuts from um, jazz from back at that period, and they'll know they'll have this insane 
understanding of music from that era, and I'm like, dude, yeah, I'm just the historian. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the, uh, I'm looking at different stuff, not the music. And but it's a wonderful thing to have like DJ friends that can like tell you about this music from these different areas. I don't know, it's cool. But uh, um, we've got about. A minute and a half left. Uh, real quick, um, you also have, uh, is it I Ignite Scholar? Or uh, the, this, your, Illuminate. Illuminate. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Illuminate Scholar. Yeah, um, that's, just, that's just my website. Okay. Like, um, it's, it's where I get clients for, okay. like, for instance, like, um, if somebody want to learn, like, a more detailed understanding of African American history from um, an African perspective, without getting caught up with the CRT or the 15, like, something that's positive for our community. If you want to learn about African-American history, I can help you learn. That's pretty much what I do. Perfect. Not to like start a riot or burn down a city or anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> like some people, like, I don't know, some people got this, this understanding that African-American history is like, I don't know what they understand. It's like, cause like I look at it, like since I was a kid, I've looked at like say Pharaohs and it's like Egypt. And it's like, that's African history. But people, like, don't think of it. I don't know what people are thinking, yeah. but they associate, They don't associate pharaohs with Africans. No. They associate pharaohs with England. Mm -hmm, <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. Because I guess all the, all the pharaoh stuff is in the, in the king of England. So yeah. I that mean, would make sense. No, that would make sense, though. I don't know. Uh, well, perfect. Uh, people can connect with you. Um, website again? Um, www.illuminatescholars.com. Very good. Yeah. And uh, you may be getting into some art. So next time when you come on Central Valley Talk, let's uh, yeah, maybe like, showcase I'm, some of your digital art. Yeah, I'm Fudo, by the way. Fudo. <laughs> <laughs> that's my alias. But. I like it. Okay, that's cool. That's All right, cool. it's cool talking to you. Yeah, man. you too, brother. We'll see you next time. All right, you All have right. a good day. Uh, you too. I'm Austin Reed. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We'll be right back.